working waterfront is part of Maine's identity, I feel like. When you think about Maine, you think about the rugged coastline and the people who make a living from the sea. The term working waterfront is definitely a, uh, a really powerful one. It encompasses the fact that a lot of people turn to the water in a sense of recreation and, and kind of maybe passive enjoyment. Working the waterfront can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And essentially, we just need a space to make a living. The energy markets are at a global scale and businesses are trying to endure at a hyper-local scale. So what are the solutions that we can bring that would remove some of that instability? If you couple wanting to look at the emissions picture and how Maine's working coastline can contribute to reducing emissions with also, again, sort of the global energy markets and the instability there, it seems like you should be able to come to a win-win if you can find the solutions. The decision to kind of jump in and, and do this pilot project with electric propulsion um, really stretches back to our desire to always be looking ahead and trying to push the boundary of innovation and how that fits with our operations and efficiencies. Heron uh, is our, our newly built 100% electric um, aluminum landing craft. We chose Heron as a name, um, we felt like it needed something that was uh, uh, just kind of a solid, strong name. Us taking our boat from this pier and driving out is just like taking the tractor out of the barn and heading to the field. You need the right tools to do the job. It, you can't be out there farming for potatoes in a tractor from 1982 and expect to be efficient. Developing tools that make sense for efficiency for Maine farmers, sea farmers, is kind of what we're doing.